You wake in the night, head pounding. You think you might have a fever. Stumbling to the bathroom, you rummage through the medicine chest. Advil, Tylenol, oh, a leftover antibiotic. This, this should work, work or, or at least it won't hurt. Guess what? That antibiotic probably won't help and might contribute to the creation of a superbug. Antibiotics have helped cure infectious disease for nearly 75 years. But common misuse and overuse in the U.S. have led to bacteria that are now resistant to once effective drugs. Otherwise known as superbugs, they can cause infections that are very difficult to treat. Here are five myths that have helped fuel the misuse of antibiotics. Knowing these will help you and your doctor decide when antibiotics are okay to take and when you should steer clear. Myth number one, they treat all infections. Antibiotics won't work against all bugs. They don't fight viruses, which are the culprits of many illnesses, including the common cold, flu, and most bronchitis. Antibiotics treat only bacterial infections. Taking an antibiotic for a viral infection will not help you feel better faster or make you any less contagious. Myth number two, there's no downside to taking antibiotics. There's always the risk of side effects, including diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, and yeast infections. And in rare cases, some prescribed antibiotics can cause nerve damage. Plus, antibiotics can destroy healthy bacteria in the intestines, fueling harmful and occasionally deadly bacteria such as C. difficile, or C. diff for short. Myth number three, a full course of antibiotics lasts at least a week. Not always. A shorter course can work for some conditions, such as certain urinary tract, ear, and sinus infections. So ask your doctor for the shortest course of antibiotics necessary. Myth number four, killing more bacteria is always better. There are different types of antibiotics. So-called broad-spectrum antibiotics, such as ciprofloxacin or Cipro, can kill good bacteria as well as the bad and should be used sparingly. Narrow-spectrum drugs such as penicillin kill fewer types of bacteria. If a more narrowly targeted drug will work against your infection, that's usually the better choice. And remember that bathroom medicine cabinet dilemma? Well, that leads us to our last myth. Taking leftover medication is all right, but actually it's never okay to self-diagnose and take leftover antibiotics. It could turn out that you may not need an antibiotic at all. Even if you do, the leftover medication may not be the right type or dose. To know what's right for your bug, ask your doctor to determine the type of bacteria that's causing your infection. For more information on antibiotics and health-related issues, see our special report at consumerreports.org.